For Man on the Go, I'm Chris Brogan. I wanted to talk to you about the first few things that I do when I check into a hotel. First and foremost, I'm a little bit of a nerd, so I always want to get my computer up and running right away. First thing I always do is I pull out my uh, Outlets to Go Power Charger by Monster Power. Uh, if I can find an affiliate link for this thing, I will, I promise you. I think it's a great thing. I call it the friend maker at airports, by the way. It's got three plugs, so it extends anything out to three plugs, plus a USB charger. And again, as a nerd, that's what I do. So I go over and I find the power on the desk, and I, I get myself set up, and I start pulling out my laptop and everything like that. I won't go through all the steps, because I think it would be kind of lame to watch, have you watch me unpack all my bags. The other thing I do is I grab my reading material, and I make sure I put it somewhere where I can get at it. So I'm not ever at a loss, and I'm never uh, tempted to grab anything off of the television. Uh, I also pull out my toiletries to make sure those are ready to go. <coughs> you might recognize the uh, famous Eagle Creek Tarmac 22 bag that Mitch Joel sent me up. You know, I have typical toiletries, just like you expect. I, I go and I set those up. The other thing I do really quickly, uh, because if ever I forget to do it, it's always lame, is I look and start to unpack a couple things that matter to me. One is I carry a little bag for my dirty laundry so that I don't get to mix and mingle it. Two is I grab the shirt and the pants I'm going to wear for the next day or next several days and I unpack those first and make sure I get them hanging to start reducing some of the wrinkles. And Everybody's been recommended using wrinkle release material, uh, spray or something like that. I'm going to try it out. I haven't really packed it just yet, but we'll get there. I uh, pack some running shoes and some sports gear in case I get lucky, and I always pack a couple extra books. Now, I'm a guy who has an iPad, so I have iBooks, I've got the Kindle app. Why do I still do books? Because lots of people send them to me. Some of the books that are in here to be read are To Be Told, which was sent to me by my friend John Fleury on Twitter. Uh, Boring to Bravo about presentations. I have Flirting with Faith by Joan Ball that I keep uh, somehow moving down in the list that I've got to pick up and actually finish reading. Uh, and I'm also reading a book about money called The Millionaire Maker uh, by Laurel Langemeyer, which I'll throw a review on. So, for whatever reason, I thought I'd tell you what I'm reading about right now. Um, the other things I do right away when I get into the hotel is I make sure I put my uh, Do Not Disturb sign on the door. I don't want people bugging me. I don't really need the room changed right away every day. I don't need someone to flip down the covers and put a mint on my pillow. It's just not necessary for what I'm doing. Uh, the other things I might do is I might hack my room a little bit. I might take the uh, clock off if it's uh, going to be a distraction. I have watches. I know what time it is. I don't need to use their materials as well. I move stuff out of the way. I, I, you know, it's your room for the duration. As long as you're not leaving a dent in it, you can do what you want with it. Uh, those are a few of the things I do when I first get in. The other stuff I might do is I might check and ask where the local uh, drug store is, where the local grocery store or corner store is in case I want to buy myself something, some soda pop or something. And I guess beyond that, the other stuff I try to get done is just make sure I know what my agenda is for my trip. So those are some first steps on first things I do when I get into a hotel room. I'm Chris Brogan from Man on the Go.